Hi everybody, this is Robin. I wanted to share with you today the item I made for the Cricut contest they just had. We got home from the holiday and I spent two days working on this. Uh, I have probably about 20 hours in it and then found out that Cricut extended their contest which I had already submitted all my stuff. Wish I would have known that because I'd have done a few more tweaks to it but that's okay. And I thought the grand prize winner was a pretty good one. The other ones I'm not quite sure on but that's my opinion. So I thought I'd show you what I did tell you what I did and show you the cartridges that I did use. And I'm going to start from the top. And I'm going to zoom in on the top there. And this is what I call, I hate this tripod I have. i got to find a new one. I call this the wedding cake card holder. So when people, you know, come in to the wedding reception or whatever, they can drop their cards in this. And you can see the little pink card sticking out the top. And that's where the cards would go in. And then the just married sign there in the back. I was going to use like a traditional cake topper, but I thought the just married sign was, was cool. And I'm going to show you the cartridges I used. I used the Sweethearts. And I just cut out this envelope to do the card. So that is the card that's dropped inside the there. And then I used, of course, the Just Married sign from the same cartridge. And I think I cut that at a four and a half inches. And then I just took another piece of paper and made it into a little stamp. And then now I'm going to go on to the design of what I did in the cake. Okay, just to give you an idea, the paper I used, the brown chocolate paper is called chestnut, and that's a Cricut paper. And Cricut, please come out with all these papers in the 24-inch length. And then the blues that I used were from the Brazil Bling collection and I used um, glamour, sparkle, and glitz on that. And then the pink in the card and then of the sign is the Brazil bling in pink. So and then the burgundy in that flower is just some burgundy I had in some scraps. So I'm going to show you with the cartridges that I used and what ones I did use for that and so here comes number one okay for a little scroll around the sides of the cake I use the flourish but I didn't obviously use the hearts or the flower but I thought that was a neat cake decorations and then for the sides, I used the Sweet Treats cartridge, and I used the cake plate, and I used the layered key for the scroll, excuse me, like the scallop part on the cake. I don't know if you can see it. and then you can see that here on each layer. The top little little piece that I used and you can see those on the top of each layer I just cut out a quarter inch piece of paper just to give that a finished look. And the flowers I used the Sweet Treats cartridge and I used flower number three and I used the shift button. I didn't use this. I just used the shift button. Then I also cut out the dot for the middle of each of those. And then 
I don't know if we're going to be able to pick this up or not. But for the leaves, I used the different leaves here on the home decor cartridge. And I cut both of those out in varying sizes around the cake. So I'll zoom in here and so you can see the flowers. There's my samples that I cut of them on, sitting there on the back of them. And then I just did from the larger size down on the bottom and then I just worked my way up and did some smaller sizes. So I had a lot of fun doing it. I just wish I would have known that you know we were going to have more time to do it because I would have loved to take more time to kind of curl the edges of the flowers and do things like that. Um, add a little bit highlights because I love to add highlights but I worked till two nights till two o'clock in the morning on it so but that's okay I had fun doing it and everybody that I know and has seen it on pictures loves it so I've had a one request of making one for their child's birthday but I wouldn't know how much to charge I have a lot of hours in in this but it was fun and if you have any questions let me know have a great day bye